So, so what we're going to do today is go through some steps on how to upload a pre-made sketch onto an Arduino Nano and the environment that we're using uh, this morning is a, a Windows 10 environment and a, a couple of hiccups or obstacles that you might encounter um, with Windows 10 specifically if you have not used uh, a, a Arduino unit before. So we already have open the Arduino IDE and you can see the first time you open it it's almost completely blank. It's asking you up here in the upper left hand corner to uh, set up your code. All right. But if, if we recall what I said, we're going to be using a pre-made uh, sketch. So the next thing that we're going to do after opening up the uh, Arduino IDE is we need to actually connect the uh, the nano board to the PC. So we plug one end into the uh, nano board and the other end into the PC. You could hear the, uh, the tone of the USB device being recognized. And then we come up here to tools and we come down to board all right, so like I said, we're using a Arduino Nano, but if you look at the screen, uh, it's, it's saying Arduino Uno, okay? So that was the last board that I was using. So we need to tell the IDE that uh, we're, we're not using the Uno anymore. We're actually using the Nano. So we come down here to Nano, select that, go back up here and we come to COM port. If this is the first time you're doing this, chances are it's maybe with Windows 10, it's not going to recognize that you have what COM port you're on. So what you do in that case, you go down to your start menu and you find your device manager. Open up the device manager and you scroll down to ports. Well, with Windows 10, one of its idiosyncrasies I find is that uh, if you haven't set this up, you may ports may not be visible. Okay, so if you come here and you don't see your serial chip, the, the CH340, which is the chip that's on board the, uh, the nano board, um, then you need to come up here to action. Okay. We're going to click on laptop, or in your case, it might be PC, desktop, whatever, and then action. And you're going to want to add legacy hardware. So let's go ahead and click next. And then we want to select install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Next. And we're going to scroll down and look for ports. right here okay next standard port types okay and then click next and then we're going to click next so i'm, I'm not going to click the uh, this here because i've already got this installed but suffice it to say that's what you're going to need to do all right, and then the other thing that, that helps is to go into view after you've uh, put the legacy devices in there and 
click show hidden devices all right so that should enable you to next time you come into device manager to come down here to ports and see that you're on comp 4 once you do that come back to tools go down here to port and you'll be able to select that you're on COM port 4, okay? All right, that's that's all straight. So now that we have the uh, Arduino Nano recognized by the Windows 10 PC, and we have our COM port set, you can see down here in the uh, lower right-hand corner that Arduino Nano on COM port 4. So what are we gonna do? Well. As I said, we have a pre-made sketch, okay? So you're gonna come up here to File, go to Open. My sketch is on the desktop. Uh, here it is here, Open. Okay, this is important. Arduino file pi.ino needs to be inside a sketch folder named Arduino PI. Create this folder, move the file, and continue. Yes. Okay. So what does that do? It opens up another iteration of Arduino. Okay. So close out the original. Here's the new one. And here is the sketch in its entirety. Okay. Go up here to the upper left-hand corner. We can hit verify. You can see down here, done compiling, and it tells you how much memory the sketch has used. That's all set. We're ready to go. Go over here to the upload, and we're going to hit upload. Once again, down here in the lower left-hand corner, done uploading. And we're done. Next thing we're going to see is just what the, uh, the physical board looks like while it's receiving this uploaded sketch. Thank you for joining me. I hope that clears up a few items for those who are not familiar with the process. Thanks. So here's a shot of the Arduino Nano. Nothing special. It's sitting on a breadboard just to hold it steady. And it's, it's currently running a, one of the blinking sketches. But what I'm going to do is upload a new sketch. And you can see how uh, when it's uploading to the, uh, to the Nano, you'll see the sequencing of the LEDs. Just so you can actually tell that an upload is taking place. So I, I go ahead and click the upload. And there we saw the... Uh, multiple blinking and we're back to running the sketch just so you, it gives you a, a visual cue that your upload is actually taking place.